this is good news. The Obama administration, you'll recall that over the past uh, couple of months, there has been a uh, court battle between uh, the Obama administration and a Judge uh, Corman of the U.S. District Court for the Eastern District of New York, where in a lawsuit brought against the FDA and the Obama administration for ignoring the FDA's own finding that the Plan B pill, which essentially prevents conception if taken within 72 hours after sexual intercourse, where Corman found that the administration didn't even follow its own guidelines for making this pill available over the counter. It has been found safe for over a decade. It was tied up in administrative processes for a decade. The FDA a couple of years ago found that it was safe to be uh, um, provided over the counter. Department of, Homeland, uh, Department of Health and Human Services basically quashed that, said that you need um, uh, ID, should be only available, I think, to uh, women over the age of 17 or 18. Corman issued his, um, his ruling that the FDA must make it available immediately. The Obama administration changed it, dropped it down to 15. And now the Obama administration has now decided to stop trying to block over-the-counter availability for this morning-after contraceptive. It means that any woman or girl will be able to, buck, uh, to go into a drugstore and purchase the Plan B one-step without a prescription. The Justice Department had been fighting to prevent that outcome, but said late Monday afternoon that it would accept its losses in recent court rulings and begin putting into effect the judge's order to have the FDA certify the drug for non-prescription use. The FDA issued a statement Monday night saying that it planned to drop its appeal to comply with the order the FDA has asked the manufacturer the plan be one step. There was also a two-step pill, but that uh, pill is obviously, or I should say, a two-pill step. That drug is probably going to go by the wayside. The FDA was concerned that it was actually more complicated and so that it would be administered improperly. The one pill does the whole job. Um, to submit a supplemental application seeking approval of the one pill product to be made uh, available over the counter without any restrictions. In a letter to the court, the Justice Department outlined the procedural steps that the FDA plans to take. And then the FDA will approve it without delay. Once that's done, uh, makers of genetic versions of Plan B One Step will uh, then ask uh, of those makers for a similar arrangement. The FDA will evaluate those requests and decide whether it gives Plan B one step any type of market exclusivity, but most likely generic pills will also eventually be available without restriction. In other words, um, the Plan B one step pill marketed under a couple of different names will have a share of the market and then generics will presumably enter the market uh, soon. So this is good news for, um, for people who believe that uh, women, all women or girls or females who are able to conceive have also the right to stop conception.